Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. If you would like to support me or the channel in any way, you can do so by liking this video and subbing to the channel. Let's talk bodybuilding. So today we actually have a very interesting comparison between the fourth and fifth place finishers at the 2021 Mr. Olympia in the Classic Physique Division, Erz Kalasinski and Ramon Dino or Ramon Roca Quiros. And actually, this comparison arose for me to do because I'm pretty sure you guys know about the drama between Ian and the Brazilian fans of Ramon. If you guys don't, you could check out any of the other bodybuilding news platforms. I don't too much like covering drama over here at Go Fitness, but essentially, Ian Vieira said that he believes Urz will be the next classic physique champion after Chris Bumstead. And he also stated that he believes Ramon barely won his last show. Now, that led to Brazilians sending him all type of death threats and whatnot, but I figured why not look at a comparison between these two guys from the 2021 Mr. Olympia to judge the physiques and maybe judge who has the most potential. And if you guys actually stick around to the end, I'll do a comparison between Urs Kalasinski and the version that Ramon brought to the Expo Pro Super Show, which I believe was a lot better than the Mr. Olympia. But let's go ahead and get into this front double bicep comparison. And honestly, guys, uh, Ramon could use some improvement on his posing. It seems like he probably has a better V-taper than Urz, but he just isn't posing correctly. And as you guys can see, Urz has more separation in the quads as well. Ramon seems to be winning in every aspect of the upper body, honestly, except for the insane lat flare that Urz has from the front. And guys, take a look at the calf department. They're honestly very similar. Ramon has great calves and Urz also has great calves, but... I seem to prefer Urz calves more. They look a little bigger or maybe they just insert a little lower. But taking a look at this front double bicep overall, guys, I mean, it's pretty obvious that it's going to go to Urz Kalasinski. Ramon does have the potential, but he definitely needs better conditioning and improving on his posing. And going into the side chest pose, this, now see, this this is a little more interesting. Uh, I feel like Urz has a better execution of this pose, but his arms just look tiny here. His forearms, too. Amazing glute and hamstring tying, of course, and the calves don't play such a big of a factor as they did in the front double bicep. Ramon, I believe that he's pulling he's pulling too close to himself, maybe, but it does make his left arm look crazy. Forearm size, overall, he's just dominating Urz in the upper body. Just not the best execution, of course. And uh, Urz does seem to have a better hamstring glute tie-in. Ramon seems to have a bigger overall quad from the side, though, which... Honestly, it's probably just the posing, but in this pose, I would probably take Ramon, even though he could be posing it better. If he if he was posing this better, he would definitely be winning. Urz has a great execution, but he still needs to feel like his frame a little more for this pose to look better on him. So Urz has a better execution, but doesn't necessarily have his frame filled out enough for it. And Ramon has the frame for it, but he just doesn't have the best execution. And in the next pose, we're actually going to take a look at the back double bicep pose. Now, this is interesting. If you take a look at this, it seems like Ramon has a better back, but Urz is just completely dominating him in the lower body. Now, Ramon does have the striated glutes, and Urz may have striated glutes, and he may just not be flexing them, but from what we're looking at, we have to take it for what it is. Look how huge Urz's quads look from behind. Like, oh my God, Urz almost looks bottom heavy. He actually does look bottom heavy from behind, but this is the back double bicep pose, guys, and taking a look at the back. Ramon does appear to be a little wider and have more size. I'm not really sure which way I would go with this. It's like you, you either want to go with the back or you want to go with the lower body. And uh, I would honestly probably take Ramon in the back double just because he has the back and it seems like he's better conditioned in the glutes. He has some condition in his hamstrings. Honestly, if Urz had the stripes in his glutes, I would take him in his pose because he does have a great back. Honestly, this pose can go either way. It could go either way. But Urz not flexing his glutes at all, it kind of makes me uncomfortable to take him in his pose because they just look so smooth. But I would probably take Ramon in his pose because it looks like he has the better balance. And on to the ab and thigh pose. And as you guys can see here, it appears that Urz was just on a completely level of conditioning than Ramon was at the 2021 Mr. Olympia. I don't like Urz's execution of this pose at all. Like It looks like he's taken away from his V-taper. He looks like an alien, and he also looks very uncomfortable in his pose. But outside of him not looking comfortable in his pose, he pretty much 
destroys Ramon in my opinion. I like Ramon's upper body. It looks huge. And he has the tiny waist with the vacuum. But he almost looks like a bodybuilder in his pose. But Ramon would be winning this pose if he was just more conditioned. He had the separation of his quads. And if you guys stay a little longer, I will be showing you the comparison from the Expo Pro Show when he was a lot more conditioned. And taking a look at the last pose we have from the Mr. Olympia is actually a classic pose. And once again, Ramon probably could win this pose, but it's just his execution. He's honestly posing small, making himself look smaller, whereas you see Urz is opening up and making himself look bigger. And Urz, of course, has amazing potential, man. He just needs to fill out his frame more, whereas Ramon kind of has the frame. He just needed to come in more conditioned at that 2021 Mr. Olympia. And Ramon also could work on his posing, even though we're not going to look at any posing routines. Urz is an expert poser, and Ramon even tends to shake some in his mandatory poses. But before taking a look at this comparison, I felt like Ramon honestly might have had a brighter future to winning that Mr. Olympia than Urz. Now, these two guys could be the two guys fighting it out for the title in a couple of years because I don't believe they're going to get past any of the top three, not just Chris Bumstead. I don't believe they're going to get past Terrence Ruffin or Breon Ainsley anytime soon either, and it's not a knock on them, even though they compare very well with Chris. And the calf insertions, once again, are just insane. But taking a comparison from Eris Kalasinski at the 21 Mr. Olympia to Ramon Dino's last show, which was the Expo Pro Show, and oh my God, he came in a lot more conditioned, man. And this, you can make a much better argument for him winning this pose, but the picture for Ramon is tilted a little bit, and you can't see his V-taper all the way, or he just doesn't have the best V-taper. But once you look at the calf department, guys, just take a look at the calves. I believe, honestly, this is almost like a Chris Bumstead versus Breon Ainsley situation. I believe Urz looks more classic, but if this was a bodybuilding competition, I feel like Ramon may be able to beat him just because he has better muscles and kind of looks more so like a bodybuilder i believe urs overall just have a has a more classic look and a more classic flow such as when terrence ruffin was beating Breon ainsley uh for the first time i felt like Breon was better muscularly honestly better than chris too muscularly but i just felt like overall they had a more classic look but honestly ramon could win his front double but i just like urs calves too much it just seems like he's dominating and in the back double, of course, I would go with Ramon, as you guys seen. In the back double comparison from the 2021 Mr. Olympia, I like Ramon because Urz's glutes were just entirely too soft. And here, Ramon does seem like he could put a little more size on the hamstrings when you guys see in the comparison between Urz. Urz is just destroying him in the lower body. Like, it's not even close. The hamstrings, the quads, even the glutes. And... Take a close look at Urz. Look at the hamstring glute tie-in. Look at the insertions. Look at his back. And that's why a lot of people says he has so much potential. And I believe he still has about 15 pounds to go in his weight cap. If anyone knows how, how much weight Ramon can gain in the classic physique weight cap, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm not 100% sure. But from the comparison from the 2021 Mr. Olympia, Urs definitely had Ramon beat. If Ramon would have came in more conditioned, as I said when I covered the Expo Pro Show, he possibly could have passed Urs. But once again, Urs overall just has a more classic look, I feel. And he also pairs it with some amazing posing. Ramon looks kind of like a bodybuilder, in my opinion. But once he comes in more conditioned like this, he definitely looks a lot more classic. If Ramon can work on his posing, uh, stop the shaking some, and become a more classical poser, him and Urz would definitely be one and two fighting, such as Chris Bumstead and Terrence Ruffin. Now, that may not happen for the next seven or eight years, granted, but I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video, man. I hope the Brazilian fans don't go crazy over me. I just put this video out to give my opinion on the two. Like, comment, and sub. I'm out.